106.7 WIZN, a highway to Mel here on The Wizard. And talking today with Sean Morin, he is with the running with the Bulls. Now, that is not running of the Bulls. That's in Pamplona, Spain. That's a long thing. And people are probably going to get hurt. This is not very far. It's Church Street. It's Burlington. Sean, welcome to the Highway to Mel. Tell me about this, this uh, event that's going on and, uh, the you know, kind of what inspired it, what fun people are going to be having at this. Oh, well, well, I appreciate you having us here. Um, so, yeah, uh, great. Thank you for for for, uh, for specifying running with the Bulls, not of the Bulls, because we did <laughs> check that, and that would be a trademark violation. Yeah. So the uh, sort of the 30,000-foot view is one of our board members uh, came up with, you know, we're, we're looking to do a different fundraiser for the Classic Mike Lawyer Foundation, something unique, something kind of, something kind of silly, something really kind of wild. And he said, you know... The running of the bulls in Spain, nobody has ever spoofed that before. Nobody has ever right. sort of picked on it, but in a fun <laughs> way. And he said, if there's not a spoofable event in the world, then this 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 has got to be it. So, you know, literally in about an hour, we said, well, what if we had a bunch of people at top of Church Street being chased by trained bull people <laughs> uh, to the end of Church Street? And with all the sort of the pageantry that you get in Pamplona, so that would be fantastic. And plus, it would give people a T-shirt like they ran in an actual run right. when they really don't it's, need to train at all for this. Yeah, there's no real running. This is no marathon. We're not, <laughs> you know, we're not talking about elite runners here. We're talking about if you chase the kids or if you have run across the yard after your dog, you've, you've well-trained. You might be advanced training <laughs> this may this be <laughs> this may be the only uh this might be the only quote unquote run in the world where the awards are handed out before the run ever happens oh, so i like that if you finish first <laughs> if you don't finish if you get distracted at sweetwaters or halverson's and decide to stop there yeah that's okay uh, if no, you won you no won a half hour before the race started <laughs> Yeah, the bull's not going to chase you in. The bull might follow you and have a drink with you. <laughs> but yeah. This is a great event because uh, one of the things that, that really you guys are doing, you know, the classic Mike Lawyer Foundation, to get serious for a minute, is about people who basically have, uh, you know, passed away at work. And, right. uh, and, and Correct. really, that is a, that's a troubling and, and traumatic event. So you guys are kind of stepping in where, you know, uh, a lot of insurance and a lot of, you know, fail safes just kind of aren't there. And people have these expenses that they have to deal with. And it was inspired by Mike Lawyer. That's why it's the, the classic Mike Lawyer Foundation. But tell me kind of a little bit more about how, how you help out with that, you know, with that issue. Yeah, thank you for asking. Um, going back to the beginning, the classic Mike Lawyer Foundation was founded in July of 2011, um, following the passing of my brother Mike, who was killed in a construction accident. Mm -hmm. And um, in... In those immediate days following Mike's death, um, my family and I um, were very fortunate that we could we could you know share the the expenses you know associated when when somebody dies unexpectedly and and it occurred to us at the time that that period that immediate and it's different for everybody but that mm -hmm. immediate one to 10 day period following an unexpected death is very important to the grieving process. And the Classic Mike Lawyer Foundation um, was founded in, in primary objective to be sure that if you lose a loved one in a worksite accident in the state of Vermont, then please right. grieve. We'll cover the expenses for you. If, if that's if that's nothing that your family has the ability to do, that's what we're here to do. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and it's uh, it's it's we've fortunately haven't had. And of course, we research the number of worksite deaths per year and in all of these sorts of things. Um, but we we uh, we have been fortunate that we haven't had the average number of worksite deaths in the state of Vermont. And don't get me wrong, there have there have been. Right. One there's, is there's, too many. There's still plenty. Right? There, yeah. there, there's still plenty. Um, but we also have a, a secondary objective, which is a little harder to explain. One of our board members has basically described our foundation as Vermont's community chest. Mm -hmm. uh, very so, you know, similar to the, the game Monopoly. And that completely comes back to my brother Mike's spirit. Um, anybody nice. who knew him um, knew that he asked without being or excuse me, he helped without being asked all right. the time. Um, 
I, I mean, that, that was sort of his, uh, it's one of his many appeals, but, uh, you know, Mike was just always the guy there. If there was a community event, if something was being built, if, if, if a neighbor, um, needed their roof done, whatever it was, he gave tirelessly consistently his entire life of his time. Um, and so, you know, we were thinking at the board level with our family and other board members, how do we continue that spirit? Um, to help people that won't ask for help. Right. Um, how we do that is we have a a very large network, and we find people that are in need that, to your point, Mel, have fallen through the social safety nets. They may not have insurance. Mm -hmm. um, they may not have um, a way to pay their mortgage if they're getting treatments for a severe illness. Right. They may not be able to make their car payments because they were injured at work and they don't have workman's comp for whatever reason. So, so we fill in all those gaps. Um, so basically, just like Mike showed up, you guys just show up. Exactly. I like that. And we seek them out, and we and we and we seek them out because the in large part it's been um, it's been moving to be part of this that the that the people that we've been blessed to be able to assist are not the people that ask for it, but that's, they desperately need it. Yeah, well, that's great that you guys can do that. And so, a fun way to support this run with the bulls. It's happening on Church Street. You can go to theclassicmikelawyer.org, and lawyer is L O Y E R. It's not. <laughs> Correct. Not Esquire. Uh, Correct. So Correct. run with the bulls Saturday, July 9th. It's happening at 3 p.m. on Church Street. Now, do I bring my own cowbell or do you guys have cowbells? That's my really big question. Oh my goodness. This is uh, <laughs> one of the one of the unique things, and that's uh, sort of uh part and parcel of who the foundation is. We we try to do everything a little different. Mm -hmm. So our trophies are actually cowbells. Oh, great. Um in, in addition to that, we will also be pa passing out cowbells to pedestrians, people on the in the sidewalk cafes, people um to cheer along the again, quote unquote, <laughs> runners. And I want to mention too, Mel, it, 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 important. We have a a uh, a very much appreciated, very significant sponsor in this event yes, called Switchback Brewing. Yeah, um, fantastic people. Um, beyond making great craft brew, um, they are all about local, keeping it local, giving local, and they are an invaluable partner uh, in this in this event for sure. Well, as an employee owned group, I'm sure that they understand. You know. Uh, uh, how all of this can impact, a, you know, a company like them and, and they're all locals as well. So uh, I'm sure that, you know, having a fun event that they can also help in a, in a wonderful way, uh, you know, just speaks volumes to, uh, you know, to a group like that. And uh, hey, they make great beer. So <laughs> yes, they do. Can't argue yes, with they that. Do. Well, this is a great event. I can't wait for this again. The Classic Mike Lawyer, dot -E org, And you can click and you can register for Run With The Bulls on Church Street. I love it, and I love the cause that you guys are doing. So, Sean, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. Thanks, Mel.